Bimini is absolutely gorgeous. Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany Perry with TP's Travels and Bimini was on our itinerary when we were on the Carnival Liberty ship. If you've never been on the Carnival Liberty ship, check out the link in the description below. I will show you a whole Liberty uh, ship tour. Now, when we first got to Bimini, we wanted to take a look at the island without booking an excursion. So we decided to go see the port first and the port was, it wasn't very far walk. It was right down the street, uh, right down the pier and across the street. So it wasn't very far to get there. However, I have to say, I wasn't very impressed with it. A lot of stuff wasn't really open. There wasn't really much to do there at the port. There was some live music and there was one bar area. And that's where really a lot of people flock to was that one bar area. If you walk down to the end of the port area, you'll notice that there's a little marina with boats, and then you'll see off to the distance, uh, the Hilton uh, Resorts World Hotel. So we decided to walk over to the Hilton Resorts World Hotel and just kind of see what they had to offer. Now on our way to walking towards the Resorts World, uh, we did notice that there were a bunch of golf carts and that is one of the ways that a lot of people get around the island there is by golf carts. So you can rent any of these golf carts and just kind of explore the island. So walking on up to the Resorts World Hotel, as soon as we walked in, there was a bar area right as we walked in. It's an absolutely gorgeous and beautiful hotel. So if you're looking to go to Bimini and find a place to stay, this is a beautiful and gorgeous hotel to stay in. Now they do have a casino, the Resorts World Casino and we did play a little bit and i have to say i didn't do very well but i did have fun so that's what's important so after playing around at the casino and just kind of looking around in the hotel in the marina outside we did decide to kind of wander back over towards the pier and kind of take a look at the beach now i wasn't quite sure at first i thought i wasn't sure if it was a public beach so when we got up to the um, pier area we did notice that it was a public beach and there were two different sides on one side, you could get a chair, uh, rent an umbrella, you could rent a cabana for the day. There were a couple of food trucks available. But on the other side, it was quiet. You could take your beach towel, go and sit down over there and just enjoy the water. The water is absolutely gorgeous and pristine and clear. And it was just, I could not get enough of the water. I could have floated in the water probably all day long. And with the boat being right behind me, I didn't have to worry about rushing to get back to the boat and you know, I'm not making it on time. So I had plenty of time. So it was just an absolutely gorgeous day and I absolutely love playing at the beach. So walking back to the boat, we did notice several stingrays. Because the water is so crystal clear, you can see all the way down to the bottom. There were so many stingrays out there. I was actually swimming not that far from the stingrays when I was out in the ocean. I did hear a few people tell me they saw some little sharks. 
I didn't get to see any little sharks out there. However, if you've seen any sharks, if you've been to Bimini, I would love to hear your experiences. Now, as you can see, Bimini is gorgeous. It's beautiful little area and it's a small little island to enjoy. But if you're wanting to book an excursion, as always, I recommend booking an excursion through your cruise line. I hope this little uh, video was helpful for you. If it was, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe for more cruising fun and information. Bye for now.